So you can pull 185 pounds? Yeah, but you're more like 240. <laughs> like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face in your sleep. The thing that we like most about Pawn Stars, well, is surely the unpredictable items that are being brought in the gold and silver pawn shop. But there is something more interesting than that. It's the surprise of how huge the amount of a single item could go. Did he just use the M word? It, it was very cool, guys, but I have to admit, a million bucks is a little out of my budget. Welcome back to The Filmy, where we talk about the greatest events that happened on television. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow Photo and Letter Douglas paid 20 bucks for the item, and you can already see that while he's talking about the item, he has high hopes. This was as big as a huge author or a really big actor. Exactly. And he was really was a superstar back then. This is the guy who, when he passed... He was a very well-known poet back in the day, and Rick wanted the item, so he called in the expert to check on the authenticity of it. As it turns out, everything is real, and Douglas started off wanting 300 bucks. In the end, he got 700 bucks. 700 isn't 900, but you know, it's okay. It's a whole lot more than 300. I may go back home and dig through the closets again, see what I can find. Captain Cook Metal. The best thing about some of the deals that happen in Pawn Stars are when the merchants have no idea about the item that they're trying to sell, when they have no clue about the item and even the price at all. It's uh, George the Third and resolution and adventure. Jeff decided to sell Rick his old coin. The only thing he knows about the coin is that it's from the old times, and he's hoping that he'll get 50 or 100 bucks out of it. Rick wants a profit, but he's still fair, so he called in his buddy to check on the Captain Cook coin. It turns out the coin is 100% legit, and it was owned by Captain Cook himself. Rick and Jeff agreed on a deal of 5,000 bucks, and he's pretty happy about it since he just found it in his grandma's treasure box. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. I'll beat you right over there. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this is cool. Harry Houdini straight jacket. William went in to try to sell a straight jacket that was used by Harry Houdini. Upon authentication, it was 100% proven that the jacket was indeed used by Houdini himself. Like crazy people kind of straight jacket? Well, this is not just any straight jacket. This is an original Harry Houdini straight jacket. Okay, it does look Friday the 13th ish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rick offered $25,000 and William wanted at least 30 grand. Even though he did not escape with the money, he still got the jacket home. I can't believe this guy wouldn't budge on his price. Even though we were only five grand off on the price, 25,000 is the most I could offer. Damn, I really wanted this jacket. Elephant bird egg. Elephant birds became extinct longer than we could imagine. These extinct giant flightless birds are worth a ton because they existed back in the dinosaur era around 1000 to 1200 AD. <laughs> no, no, I have no chickens. So what exactly is this? This is an elephant bird egg. Okay. I bought it for my business. I have cell phones. This lady came into the pawn shop in hopes of selling her elephant bird egg for $2,500. Rick had it checked, and it's real. The appraisal is more than half of her expected price. They agreed to 2,800 bucks, and now the egg has its new home. Okay. All right, sweet, we you have a deal. It. If you just go around the corner, do some paperwork, I'll get you paid. Okay. I think it's a fair enough price. It's more than I came in for, so. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory props. Rick fulfilled his dreams when he went to the warehouse where the original props for the movie were being stored. Back. <laughs> Voila. This is the original hat that Gene Wilder wore in the original film. Is that insane? He immediately wants to get a deal with the everlasting gobstopper. In the end, he was able to make a deal for $105,000 for the item, plus the bonus of a Wonka bar. No. All right, so $105,000 and I get a Wonka bar. I'm gonna miss that everlasting gobstopper. Sweet! Signed Olympic Games boxing ticket. A 1984 Olympic boxing ticket that was signed by the two greatest boxers of all time? Well, Bill wants 500 bucks for his precious item that he held dear for a long time. Pretty good, how are you? What do we got? I got a 1984 Olympic boxing ticket stub with a few autographs on it you might be interested in. 
And I know the signature. He was a boxing fan, and the Olympic ticket stuff that he's trying to sell to Corey is signed by Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson. It turns out that the ticket's value is higher than 500 bucks, and it was appraised at $2,000. Bill wants 1500 bucks, but Corey's best price is only 1000 There was no deal made, but still we're lucky enough to witness a piece of history on the show. I come back? Please do, okay? I appreciate Take that. Take care. Thanks. You tried to hook me for $1,000. Mm, based on the rarity, I think I'm gonna pass. World War II ammunition cart. Shane got the item he wanted to sell in the garbage. It's a World War II ammunition cart, and he has no idea what he's about to discover. What exactly do you got here? It's a World War II ammunition hand cart. All right, do you know much about it? It's a rusty old car with broken down tires. What else do you need to know? <laughs> Even Rick and Chum are amazed with the complete parts of the cart. They called in the expert, and he said that the item will easily sell for 2,000 bucks. Shane originally asks for 500 bucks, but they agreed to 400 since Rick needs to restore the entire piece. After restoration, the entire cart looked stunning. And that's it. Okay, let me go pay you. Let me see what it gets like with a little weight in here. Uh, uh. So you can pull 185 pounds? Page from the Gutenberg Bible. Imagine having your hands on the very first printed version of the Bible. You, the most incomplete book that I've ever brought. This is an actual printed page from the Gutenberg Bible. The very first printed... This man brought in a page from the very first printed Bible and he straight up asked for $65,000 for it. Rick had to call in the expert to check if the item is legit, and it turns out it's 100% legit. They both agreed on $47,000. That is a historic deal. Give me a number what you're comfortable with. $40,000. I'm going to offer it to you for $47,000. $47,000, we got a deal. You're not going to be mad when you make, <laughs> make a small fortune on um... it. Robosaurus. Chumley brought in Cory for an adventure to one of the greatest inventions that we all thought could only be seen in movies. I'm talking about an actual robot that could destroy an entire car and produce flames from its mouth. And also, did I forget to mention that it's a 45 foot tall robot dinosaur? The hell is this thing? This is Robosaurus. It's our 31 ton, 45 foot, basically a transformer that eats cars. So, Chum, you think this is appropriate for my poncho? Chumley cannot hide his excitement, and Corey was obviously enjoying the show. But when the guys said that they wanted a million bucks, Corey was so surprised that he just had to tell them the truth that he cannot make the deal. Did you just use the M word? It, it was very cool, guys, but I have to admit, a million bucks is a little out of my budget. Old King Cole Disney Store Display. Rick just confessed that he's a Disney freak at heart and he cannot miss the opportunity of owning these items. He went to the mouse house to get the holy grail of Disney things. How are you, Rick? Can't wait to see this stuff. This is it, the mouse house. Whoa. I've been collecting Mickey Mouse and Disney things. Bernie had been collecting Disney stuff since 1968 and he was able to offer Rick the old King Cole Disney display. Rick wanted it so badly that he was able to negotiate to $32,500 for two Mickey Mice and the Donald display. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Congratulations, you made yourself a hell of a buy. I'm absolutely giddy. Let's go look at some other stuff. All right. <laughs> this is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this, and share this video with your family and your friends. We'll see you soon.